Inside the Chamber, I'm joined with Mike Cooper, the head chef and VP of sales at Sales Kitchen. So Mike, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. Uh, I love the name Sales Kitchen. So tell me a little bit about Sales Kitchen. Well, Sales Kitchen is a sales training and coaching firm based here in Naperville. And we use the kitchen analogy, and we've got a pantry filled <laughs> with selling solutions to heat up your sales. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> How did you come up with the, the idea for that name? Well, back in 2008 when I started the company, mm -hmm. I was trying to think of something that went with my email address, sales specialist. Okay. But that was taken. <laughs> and I've been in the food business, so I thought of the super center and superstore, so I tried sales superstore, sales center, sales anything and they yeah. were all taken yeah. and then sales kitchen popped into my head and it was available and thought about it for a couple of days and then I bought that website and then I opened up the Fannie Farmer cookbook and <laughs> got all of the phrases that I could use to heat up your sales. I love it. That's, That's wonderful. <laughs> Very creative. I like that. So tell me who is, um, who's your ideal client? Who would typically hire you? Well, ideal clients would be people that need sales training and sales coaching and they know they need it and they can pay for it. That would okay. be ideal. And, um, they want to grow their business. And there's just basically two ways to grow your business. One is to get new customers, and the other is to get your current customers to buy more stuff. Okay. And so we use just a simple recipe. It's, it's PAR. P plus A equals R, or, or planning plus accountability equals results. Great. And I focus on the, what, I, what I've determined is the eight high payoff activities that get salespeople good results. So can you share those eight? I can. <laughs> What are those? I can. They're networking, prospecting, setting appointments. That would mean picking up the phone. Yeah. Planning for their presentation, conducting the sales call, handling stalls and objections, closing the sale, and then following up. And that would be all eight. And there's a ninth one I'll share with you later on. Okay. All right. That's a secret ingredient, that is, right? <laughs> that is something that everybody loves to do. <laughs> all right. So let me ask you. I know when people hear sales, they like, oh, shy away a little bit. Um, what's the most common mistake that salespeople make? Because obviously you're working with them, coaching them, and training them. What's a common mistake that they make? You're right. A lot of people think of sales, and they think of the sales the car salesman and the vacuum salesman. Well, I could teach people to sell a used car with two vacuums in the trunk. <laughs> but the most common mistake is following up. Okay. People don't follow up. They'll, they'll make a couple of calls and then they'll stop. And usually it takes about five to eight times to get through to the buyer. And, and then once you get mm. through to them, then they know that you're serious about them. And if they actually start working with you, they'll know that you're the right person to work with. Great. So with this coaching, tell me a little bit about what that sales coaching might look like. So for instance, if I came to you and I've never sold, well, maybe I've sold, but not really successfully. How, what are some things that you might um, share? Well, we'd probably start with some, tr some training. Okay. And the training consists of a baker's dozen <laughs> one hour workshops okay. that are designed to improve sales results. Okay. And that includes everything from the eight high payoff activities, and it goes into some more things like um, your your appearance. Okay. You know, some people will leave the house without looking at a mirror. And what I like to do is just ask yourself a question before you leave the house: Would you buy from you? Yeah. And a lot That's of people. That's a great question. It's, you know, it's just make sure you look good and professional, and then work on their selling skills. And what we want to do is make them have the skills and the tools so that they can go out and improve the firm's results. Wonderful. I, I love all the, uh, the, the kitchen analogies because really that makes it so relatable. Do it you find that? Yeah, yeah, it kind of spices it up a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're full of them. Um, <laughs> tell me, I know you've been involved with the Chamber for, for quite some time and I know you're very involved. Tell me how the Chamber and your involvement has, has helped with Sales Kitchen. Well, first, let's start with why did I join the Chamber? Great. One of the Chamber members, Jim Loos, mm -hmm. he's um, Independence Financial Partners out in Oak Brook. I guess that's his new name. Yeah. He saw me at church and said, all right, you started a business, you have to join the chamber. Yeah. And it was December in 2008. And you're in perfect time for the ambassador's white elephant <laughs> meeting. I said, great, when is it? He goes, it's Wednesday at 7.30. So Wednesday came along, I showed up at about 7.15 at night. And I'm walking around the chamber offices and the entire 55 South Main Street building, and I'm like, I can't find anybody. <laughs> so I called up Jim, and I go, hey, where's the meeting? He goes, oh, that was this morning. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, that was one detail he forgot to share with me. <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> so, you, uh, you did, so, so you went back, obviously. Right, I yeah. went back. And 
back in the day, I lost a corporate job, and they sent me to outplacement, and outplacement said, join the chamber, get involved. Fantastic. So I joined the chamber. I got involved. I got on some committees, and I became the chair of some committees and the assistant chair. And then one of the people that were looking for speakers chose me to speak in August of 2009, and that's how I became a speaker. Fantastic. My first speech was at the... Naperville Area Chamber of Commerce. That's fantastic. Um, tell me just a little bit about your um, your community involvement. Well, in the community, there's just there's so much to do. You know, you have to pick and choose, and right. you know, we only have so much time, talent, and treasure. Yeah. And a lot of things I do is I offer some of my time. I work with the folks at Bridge Communities. Oh, Every once in a while, they'll have someone that needs a mock interview, and they're. You know the people there are just down sure. on their luck. Yeah. And so far we're 100%. You know, we give them a mock interview, they go and they find an assignment. Fantastic. Yeah, it's been fun working That's got to be them. rewarding. And then working at the Knights of Columbus at church, helping the needy. And then at least once a year I work with some job clubs. And I give a workshop on, you know, treat the interview like a professional sales call. Yeah. And it gives some people that have never had some sales training some ideas on how to work it. Because you're really just selling yourself. Your resume is a product sheet. and yeah. And I call them the CMOs, the Chief Me Officer. <laughs> I love that. So that helps them out a lot. Yeah. Do you feel that there is a, a return, you know, giving back? I mean, you and I both know the importance of yes. that um, and how important that is ultimately is. for business. It makes you feel good, you know. Yeah. And once in a while you get some business out of it, you know. Working with the chamber members, you know, you meet people, you grow your network. And, you know, joining and, and running some of these committees, it allows me to help out the members with some of the skills that I have. And working with the folks in the Speakers Bureau, there's 15 real talented people. Yeah. And we, you know, we help those folks that don't have some of the skills that we don't even know because we use them so often. They just come right. naturally. You're right. Mike Cooper of Sales Kitchen, thank you so much. Thanks so much for it's having me. It's been fun. It's and been welcome fun. to the Chamber and your new assignment. We're glad you're here. Thank you so much. Um, we'll be back with Inside the Chamber.